Mitchell River Massacre, Battle of Mitchell River, on December 18, 1865 the Jardian brothers were well known for shooting their way through on their way to Cape York, far north Queensland with Frank Jardian marking his sharp shooting with notches on his rifle stock. It was the Jardian brothers who named the killings on the Mitchell River, the Battle of the Mitchell. The Jardian brothers account, December 18, this day, Sunday, was marked by the severest conflict the travellers had yet had with the natives, one which may well be dignified, sick by the name of the Battle of the Mitchell. On arriving at the running stream before mentioned, whilst their cattle halted, the brothers and Eula, taking axes with them, to clear the scrub, went down to find a safe crossing. At about a mile and a half they came on to a number of blacks fishing, these immediately crossed to the other side, but on their return, swam across again in numbers, armed with large bundles of spears and some nullers and met them. The horsemen seeing they were in for another row, now cantered forward towards their camp, determined this time to give their assailants a severe lesson. This was interpreted into a flight by the savages, who set up a yell, and redoubled their pursuit, sending in their spears thick and fast. These now coming much too close to be pleasant, for some of them were thrown a hundred yards. The three turned suddenly on their pursuers, and galloping up to them, poured in a volley, the report of which brought down their companions from their camp. When the skirmish became general, the natives at first stood up courageously, but either by accident or through fear, despair or stupidity, they got huddled in a heap, in, and at the margin of the water, when ten carbines poured volley after volley into them from all directions, killing and wounding with every shot with very little return, nearly all of their spears having been expended in the pursuit of the horsemen, about thirty being killed, the leader thought it prudent to hold his hand, and let the rest escape, many more must have been wounded and probably drowned, for fifty-nine rounds were counted as discharged, Mrs. Almawasson, an Okunjan elder of Kolonyama on the Gulf of Carpentaria, notes that today, there are big gaps in the genealogies of the clans of the top end groups as well as neighboring clans whose territory it was the Jardines trespassed upon. Even without the visible evidence of the notches, the Okunjan have their own stories that tell the truth of how the Jardines civilized the north.